Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to work short rows using the wrap and turn method in garter stitch. So first you want to work to where you want to start your first short row and for me that's two stitches before the end of my row. I'm just going to slip my stitch purlwise to the right needle and then bring the yarn from the back to the front and slip it back to the left needle and then turn my work. And then I'm ready to work to the next short row. So I'm going to knit until I get two stitches before the end of this next row. Okay, once again I've knit to two stitches before the end of my row and I'm going to do another wrap and turn. Same as before, just slip the stitch purlwise to the right needle and bring the yarn to the front. Oops. And slip it back. And turn my work again. So the next part of my pattern says to work to two stitches before the next wrap and turn. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. I just finished my second wrap and turn and I knit back to where I did my first one, which hopefully you can see here. This is my first wrap and turn, and you can kind of see this little strand of yarn under it. It's a little hard to see in garter stitch, um, and I can also tell where they are because there's a bit of a gap between the stitch after it and that wrap and turn. So I knit to two stitches before that wrap and turn, and I'm going to make another one. Slip the stitch purlwise, bring my yarn to the front and slip the stitch back and turn. So I'll just keep repeating this as many times as my pattern calls for and there's no need to pick up the wraps and knit them when you're all done with your short rows because they blend in well with the garter stitch there as you can see. Thanks for watching!